Episode 3 Don't swing your arm back. Runners sometimes suffer from spondylolisthesis. Spondylolisthesis gives a constant back pain. Spondylolisthesis stems from twisting force on your lumbar spine. The lumbar spine has a narrow range of motion for rotation. Some runners rotate the pelvis having the standing leg side back and the swinging leg side ahead. At the same time, the thoracic spine tends to be rotated in the opposite direction as arms swing back. So the lumbar spine is exposed to a stress of twisting forces. When this stress goes over the limit, the joint of the spine gets broken. Then the bones in the spine slip. It is called spondylolisthesis. Actually, there is no merit of swinging the arms back. Running aims at moving the body forward. Swinging the arms back generates a force in the opposite direction. If the dynamics are unconsolidated, the body movement gets inefficient. The reason why runners swing their arms back is because it gives a good feeling of force to the runners. It makes you feel powerful, but the force conflicts in your body movement dynamics. So I recommend you not swing your arms back too much. Your chest of the swinging leg side goes ahead so the arm comes relatively back from the chest, but there should not be a force of swinging back. Swinging arms back is one of the typical misunderstandings of runners as efficient body movements. This misunderstanding comes from bodily sensation. The sensation of being powerful makes you feel good, so it drives runners to make rather inefficient body movements. Smart Running is an app for you to check the warming up exercise for the day, do the exercise for a few minutes, and go running. Download the app and you are ready to warm up for running. This series of movies complements from the logic side of Smart Running. The combination of practice and logic makes your movements perfect. Stay tuned and enjoy the rest of the movies.